Hello there, I'm Chris and this is the GeoPlanet Explorer. I quickly wanted to show you what you can do with this. GeoPlanet is a data set that Yahoo releases and gives out for free that has all kind of geographical information about what we have on our planet. You can look for a city, you can look for a country, you can look for a point of interest. All this kind of information is available to you for free. All you have to do is actually go to the Yahoo Developer Network and look at the Geo Technology section. This is at developer.yahoo.com slash geo. There you will get this information as a API and also as a data set. So if you go for the API, I will explain to you how you can find this information and in the GeoPlanet data, you can download that data and use it offline or use it inside your system, whatever you want to do with it. The problem that we had is that the geotechnologies and the GeoPlanet data is very, very rich, but it's very hard to actually find the information that you want to play with. So that's why I came up with that GeoPlanet, uh, GeoPlanet Explorer. So all you actually do in this website here is that you start a location. Let's say you want to have a Paris. It will find the different Parises that are available on this planet. So there's, for example, Paris in France, and there's Paris in the United States. There's more Parises in the United States. There's one in Canada, more in the United States, and so on and so forth. Let's say for now we take the French, the French one, because that's actually the best one. When you click it, you will get a map of Paris that you can use like any other map out there. You can zoom in, zoom out, and you get all this information about Paris that we have in the GeoPlanet database for you. So we know, for example, it's in the country France, it's in the administrative Ile-de-France and the Department of Paris. It has the locality Paris Town, and it's located at these two, loca at these two coordinates. Anytime you find a coordinate in this website, you can actually click it and it will actually refresh the, uh, the map and will get will take you there. Furthermore, you get all the information about the hierarchy of this uh, of this location that you're looking at right now. So we know, for example, that Paris, the city, is in the Dep Departement of Paris, and it has the ancestors Paris, Ile-de-France and France. It belongs to Paris, Europe and so on and so forth. It has a lot of children, but in this case the arrondissements, and it has neighbors and siblings. Every one of these information pieces can be expanded by you and you get the location and you get the bounding box there as well. So if you want to move to France, for example, right now, you click that and as you see, the map has been updated. If you want to go to any of the other sections, just click the name and the whole page refreshes and it will take you there. And that's about everything I wanted to show. Play with the GeoPlanet data and see how much information we have for you out there. Now, that is everything for normal people out there. Let's talk to developers. When I built this thing this morning, I actually just wanted to build it quickly and I didn't want to do much myself. That's why I used open source information that we have out there. Specifically, I used YQL to do all the data um, loading and then I used the YUI, which is the Yahoo user interface library, to build the interface. The whole interface is used with progressive enhancement. So if I take, for example, right now and I turn off JavaScript, I can reload the page and it will still work for us. It will not be as sexy, but it actually will have a map here, which now is not interactive, but just an image. It has all the information for me and the information is not collapsed, but it will be just shown on the page for you. So you can use, for example, the search functionality of your browser to actually find that in the page. So that works for everybody, but with JavaScript, it's a bit more sexier. So if I turn on JavaScript again, reload the same page, you will see that the whole interface gets changed. First we load the image, then JavaScript kicks in and we get a real map that you can move around. The same way the information was already on the page and here we can expand and collapse it quite easily. Under the hood the information was actually taken by YQL. YQL is a really easy way to get any of the information that Yahoo and actually the world has on the internet. So if I resize that to fit it in you will see that there is lots of lots of tables already in there that have geo information for you. So this is the YQL console. You can use that, you don't have to use it, but it makes your life so much easier if you want to build some really uh, complex mashups and lookups. So here, down here, you will get the tables. So in this case, we have the social tables right now, but when you open the geo tables, you will find that there's placemaker, there's places, ancestors, belongs to children, neighbors, parents, siblings, and so on and so forth, all of the information that I'm using in the Explorer. So you can say, for example, select star from geoplaces 
where text equals Paris. And that will be exactly the same that we're doing with the first search on the page. So here we will have a Paris in France, then we have the other Parises and so on and so forth. All this information is available for you as XML or as JSON. If you want to test it this way, you can get the information back. So all I really needed to do to build the interface was take this and put it in this system here. So once you've done a request in, uh, in YQL, you will get this REST API here. So you can copy and paste that in, put it in a browser, and you will get the information in your browser. So this is quite handy, but it actually makes more sense to do that on a programmatic level. So what I've done in this case here is I just built this little Geo Explorer PHP page, which filters the input that might get in. It gets a location, which is select star from Geo places where text is text, goes to the YQL endpoint, puts them together, URL encodes the, uh, the YQL query, and then calls a get function and returns a JSON decode. The get function itself is actually all a curl call. Do the curl in it, get the information, give it back to me, and I have my information out there. What I've done with the details is actually use the query multi of YQL to call all the different sections that we have. I use geoplaces to find the information about the place, ancestors for its ancestors, belong to its children, neighbors, parents, siblings, and so on and so forth. All of these are put together and come back as one little XML file that I can use. In that case, I get it back as JSON, decode it, and get the information out there. Everything else that I had to do was just render a nested list with all the information and render it out to the page. For the, uh, for the maps, all I actually took was going to the Yahoo Geotechnologies page again, go to the Maps section, find the Map Image API, copy and paste the code there, and use that. The same way for the Ajax API, there's lots of information out there that you can just copy and paste and put together. In terms of JavaScript, there was not really any magic in there. All I had to do was actually toggle the information out there. So what I've done is basically go through all the, uh, uh, do a delegation on all the clicks. If the links have a class called toggle, then I go through the ancestor, add another class to it in CSS and remove it and so on and so forth. I could be going through that right now, but it's actually quite tiring. So what you can do instead, you can actually go to GitHub at github.com slash codepoet geoplanet explorer and get the code for yourself, look through it and see what I've done there. And that is all I wanted to talk about. So have fun with the geoplanet explorer. Cheers.